the Mexican Grand Prix. Coming out of the Sprint Weekend, US Grand Prix, a lot of lessons for the team. A very competitive week. The teams will be going ballistic, like a lot of lessons, even for Ferrari that won the race. For Red Bull, a lot of lessons, even with their upgrades, because they are going to a more heat concentrated area. And now, with the way Formula 1 is now, you, don't, you cannot even predict who takes pole or who wins the race. That is how interesting it is, and I love this. Max Verstappen took pole and won the race from Sprint on Saturday. But, <laughs> Lando Norris took pole on the qualifying and Charles Leclerc from fourth won the race. And remember, Charles Leclerc from fourth this year won a race in Italy. <laughs> Hmm. It seems Charles Leclerc loves winning races this year from fourth position. Maybe the next race he should just go into fourth position straight. But certainly it's getting much more interesting with the FIA, McLaren, Red Bull, BIB, and other team complaints. And it's not been satisfactory, especially with the way FIA has been handling matters, it's both on track and outside track. And everybody is saying it seems as if they're favoring Red Bull rather than other night teams. Well, like I have said it, let there be more teams in F1. If there are more teams, favoritism will be reduced, certainly, because it's it's very difficult to favor one team, especially when teams get itty. There are some team principles that will come and they are going to fire FIE, F1. But imagine 12 teams and somebody like Gunther Stena is back, Osman Savna is back. Those guys can talk for life. It will be very, very interesting. But as it is, a lot of people are complaining and F1 needs to do something about it. It's looking like the favoritism is just out there for everybody to see. Also, to Lando Norris, I think there are a lot of things he needs to learn if he wants to be a championship contender. This year, he is a championship contender that has not really proven himself to be a championship contender and him contesting or contending with Max Verstappen shows how weak he is and how undecisive he himself is and to take a whole lot of understanding for him to get to that position in which he thinks he needs to get to so Lando Norris needs to learn a lot and to Max Verstappen keeps teaching them dishing it out because he understands all the rules he's present he knows what he needs to do and he's doing it and using the influence that he has in F1 to bend rules to himself which is great that is why you are in F1 that is why it is called a sport you understand and i hope mercedes have learned i hope they will look into the upgrades they've brought and know why they're having a kangarooing car with their new upgrade that car is kangarooing <laughs> and if they're going to an high altitude racetrack like mexico it will be very difficult for them because overheating and some other factors will come into play and that will certainly affect them so they need to look into the upgrades maybe they bring the upgrades and they bring the whole spec and they check it fp1 fp2 to know which one they will go to but they need to learn aston martin they've really drifted off I don't know what is wrong with Aston Martin. Aston Martin needs to find their balance or come next year with Andre Neri and do some magic. Others has really improved. They are the sixth best team now and they are really showing that they want to be the king of the midfield ahead of Alpine. Alpine has just been on and off for the past three races. Sauber is not even in this competition. They have just come to play, come to be part of the teams. They are not in the competition. Williams too have improved. They are really pushing forward to make sure 2025-26 is a good year for them. So I hope it will be a good year for them. Going to Mexico will be a very, very interesting one like the last five races of this season will be very interesting a grand prix in which has been held 24 times it was first held in 1962 and the 71 lap race on the high altitude it dominant circuit it's going to be very interesting like i said i keep saying that because i know the last few races of this season is going to be hot it's going to be hot it won't be as delectable and sweet as cornish as the 2021 race year but it's going to be very interesting because the way everything has turned around especially in 2024 is making it look interesting max verstappen has won five races with Red Bull winning five races in Mexico. Circuit length is a 4.304 kilometers with a 2.679 miles. The race length is a 305.354 kilometers. That is crazy. And we're having Charles Leclerc on pole last year with a 1 minute 17 seconds and Max Verstappen won the race. Louis Hamilton came second and Charles Leclerc came third. The fastest lap went to Louis Hamilton last year. But coming to this year, it's a different race, different competition. The tickets are out there. They are not sold out. You can get tickets from as low as seven hundred dollars to like five thousand six thousand dollars mexico is a huge sporting country with rich traditions and a lot of tourist attractive places to sell for them let me talk about the weather on friday during the fp1 and the fp2 we are going to be having an overcast of sunny intervals with the temperature as high as 25 degrees and chances of rain is 10 percent for the fp3 and qualifying we are going to have a sunny and clear day with temperature as high as 24 degrees and chances of rain five percent on sunday it's going to be a sunny day because the sunday temperatures as high as 24 degrees and the um, chance of rain of five percent certainly it's going to be a very very interesting race the past few races in mexico had been very very interesting let's go to 2019 2020 there was no race in 2019 Luis hamilton won the race from a ferrari start and a calabouche by verstappen at the beginning of the race 
Sebastian Vettel came second and Valtteri Bottas came third. But it was a very beautiful race. In 2021, Max Verstappen won the race. That was when himself and Luis Hamilton are still having their tight race schedule. On that tight battle that they were having in 2021, they both nearly crashed. With Bottas getting the worst out of the race, he was clashed out amongst the top four. Hamilton coming second, Perez coming third. But it was a very interesting race then. The 2022 race, Verstappen won the race. Hamilton second, Perez third, Russell fourth. And Red Bull started on pole and won. 2020 race was a much more technical race in which we had a lot of accidents, a lot of drivers crashing out, a lot of yellow flags and you know Mexico is a place in which you have a lot of slow slow corners and some few fast streets. Those slow corners are so 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 choked in which there are opportunities to overtake on those slow corners and right there a lot of drivers were pushing themselves to the wall driving themselves inside and while some are pushing other drivers off the track like what happened in the last gp in austin but still max Verstappen won the race comfortably he won the race because he had the fastest car Lewis Hamilton second with the fastest lap and charles leclerc third and carlos Sainz fourth but it's going to be another race this weekend because like i said it's been difficult for you to know who will come pole and who will win the race and that is what we all want in the fun but certainly you are going to see a very very intelligent race a very very good race this weekend in Mexico and the own boy Sergio Perez who want to impress last year was unable to impress as he retired on the first lap due to an accident and I hope this year he will be able to impress in his home race that is if he can do that that would be great for him and also the upgrades in which the Mercedes brought Toto Wolff has said that the upgrade they will try and improve on it but it is not the upgrade that really affected Lewis Hamilton's um, accident and meanwhile he's not blaming Lewis Hamilton he is talking about the wind and also some mechanical parts of the car if the old car or old up Grade in which they brought in July, ran by George Russell, was fine, and the mechanical part is not affected. Why is it affecting this new car? Maybe there's another theory that we don't understand yet, but it will be able to explain to us when they are giving that debrief on Wednesday for the Austin race. It will be a race to break, a race to win or lose for some teams, and certainly I think it will be a race for Mercedes to design or determine what happens next year and the next few races because this is showing a lot of improvement into next year 2025 is going to be a banger it's going to be ballistic like i told you stay up for this race stay in tune you're going to enjoy the race the tire strategy is up there you can look at it the tire strategy will, will let you know the types of tires that will be used that is from the c1 to c5 the three compounds that will be used and also the tire strategy will also tell you the camber angle the caster angle and we also tell you the pressures will be allowed in the tires for the mexican race so you can look at it and understand how this works it's going to be an interesting Race, like come Mexico, you can't afford to miss it. I love you guys. Bye. Cheer. Please like, subscribe, share, and keep streaming. I love you. Bye.